I stayed up multiple hours to see if it was possible to be Minecraft Hardcore in one real life night. Now what exactly do I mean by this? I mean that I will be giving myself from 11pm to 6am the next day to truly beat Minecraft Hardcore. This means that we will need to kill the Ender Dragon without dying even once. It sounded like a simple task, not really, but it was anything but. So join me on my journey to beat Minecraft Hardcore in one night. Going into this challenge, I had six goals in mind to keep myself on task. Get stone tools, get iron armor, get a diamond pickaxe for obsidian, find another fortress, find the stronghold, and beat the dragon. How the fuck am I going to do all that in just a couple hours? Who knows? I started off like anybody would do. I cut down some trees, got stone tools, killed an entire ecosystem of fish and pigs, and mined some coal underwater. By the time I was done doing that, the sun was already setting and I was already making myself a little base to hide out in. It was taking very long though. So as I got bored, I decided to go on my boat to look for any possible caves or shipwrecks, such as this one right here. Inside this ship, I found lots of iron in a buried treasure map, which meant that there was a possibility for some diamonds. Following the map to the buried treasure took fucking ages, but once I arrived, I dug around some sand, found the chest, and got rewarded 2 diamonds, 14 iron ingots, 2 water breathing potions, and some cooked salmon making the journey very worth it and making this already a very good start to our challenge. Later on, I went to go underwater caving in search of iron and potentially even more diamonds when I dug straight into another cave, which then led to a massive lush cave. Hmm, I sense diamonds. After killing a zombie and grabbing some more iron, curiosity struck. I started walking around more, which eventually led to me walking around and seeing some diamonds that were guarded by this skeleton. No biggie. Like any normal person, I would craft a shield and some armor with all the iron that we've obtained. Fuck no. I decided to craft just a shield in a bucket, get some water, and head down there completely butt fucking naked, cheeks flapping in the wind. Somehow, I still managed to kill the skeleton, albeit barely, and obtain the singular diamond that I was in search of. For the moment, we were pretty safe, with no threats around us. That would change very soon though. Looking around even more revealed a huge lava lake where we could obtain some obsidian for another portal. So I crafted myself a diamond pick and headed down, again, without armor because I'm a fucking idiot. Oh wait, no, I actually crafted some. Just a pair of leggings that had no effect whatsoever on my chances of survival. Heading down there, I was immediately jumped by an absolute insane amount of mobs, leaving me retreating with just one heart. My heart rate has never been so low yet so high at the same time. I was surrounded on all sides and zombies were guarding my only way of exiting. After some dodgy moments, eventually I did get back up safely though, passing by some diamonds without mining them on the way, which did hurt a little bit, but we have more important matters on our hands. When I finally got back to the surface, I immediately started smelting off the iron that I had gotten, crafting myself a full set of iron armor, you know, only after I got out of the dangerous cave, and had successfully checked 3 items out of 6 on our list of goals to achieve. With these 3 goals already done in just about 1 hour, I was actually starting to believe that we were going to be able to complete the challenge. I wish I hadn't. In search of some sheep to make a bed, a village to get some general supplies, and an area to construct our nether portal, I explored, and explored, and explored, until... I could just barely make out a village in the distant fog. Holy shit, we might actually be able to do this. Upon arrival, I killed some sheep for wool because using shears instead is way too violent, crafted a bed because there definitely weren't multiple beds in the village that would have made me not have to kill all the sheep and explore the village itself. To be honest, it didn't have much. The only thing I was able to really take from it was all of their hay which I then crafted into bread. After that, I went to a conveniently nearby lava pool to get some obsidian for another portal. I then traveled away from the village, for some reason, until I found a small little area with an azalea tree to lay my bed next to, and if you know anything about azalea trees in Minecraft, they mean lush caves. Heading into this cave, I had high hopes. There could be a mineshaft, there could be diamonds, there could be plenty of endermen to get ender pearl. There wasn't anything. I mean, there was this trial chamber, I know that they were recently added, but I have no clue what they are. I haven't played Minecraft in a while. Returning to the surface, I laid my bed down and peacefully went to sleep. What the f- I returned to the village, set up my portal, and was ready to take on the nether for the very first time. <laughs> what? <laughs> we had spawned directly above a lava lake. So we're fucked. My only option was to bridge across and definitely not look down at a fall that would guarantee death and go to the nearby crimson forest. I tried to trade with the piglins in hopes of getting enderpearls, but all they gave me was useless shit and a potion of fire resistance. 
Don't forget that. At this point, I switched my focus to looking for another fortress. Luck was not on our side at all. Everywhere I went, there wasn't one to be seen. Keeping my X coordinate positive didn't help, keeping it negative didn't help, nothing worked and I was wasting valuable time walking around. Eventually, while searching, I almost got my cheeks absolutely decimated by this hoglin. But luckily, his overpowered knockback knocked me onto a block that he couldn't reach. To be honest, I thought that the run was over. But it wasn't. That can only mean one thing. We need to keep going. Returning to my nether portal wasn't an easy task at all, and it wasn't helped by the fact that I kept digging to random lava pockets and almost perishing. Pause. Remember the fire resistance potion the piglins gave me? It came in very handy indeed. I never thought I'd say this, but those little fuckers had saved my life and possibly my sanity. Once I had finally made it back to this abomination of a bridge, I returned to the village, disassembled the portal, and traveled across multiple countries all in an attempt to make my X coordinate positive. Why did I do this? Similar to what I said before, nether fortresses are more common to spawn when the X coordinate is positive and when the Z coordinate is negative. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what the internet told me, and you know the internet is always right. Centuries later, once I found my spot of choice, I built the portal and went back in. Yeah, I don't know if this or the floating portal was worse, they both seem equally as bad. To be honest though, I didn't feel like giving up. Even after all these challenges that we faced, I kept traveling, and traveling, and traveling. And with a little luck, finally came across this beautiful, stunning sight. A nether fortress. After all of these near-death moments, after all of this traveling, after all of this time, after all of this work, it had finally been discovered. Excited as I was, I mined some blocks, towered up, and was ready to fight some blazes. <sighs> I can do this. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh. <laughs> Yeah, so I kinda died five seconds in. Whoa, well, fuck. After all of this work, all of these hours wasted, it was all for fucking nothing. At this point, the temptation of just shutting down my computer and going to sleep was very high, but I put myself in this challenge for a reason. I knew what I had to do. <sighs> Attempt number two. I made a new world and spawned in. This was going to be the one. This was going to be the run that I killed the Ender Dragon and proved to everybody that yes, it is possible to beat Minecraft Hardcore in just one night. This run started very similar to the last one, the only difference being that there was a nearby village. Hello there. Inside this village, I found two iron and lots of wheat to make bread, and that's it. Traveling some more, I came across this cave. Inside this cave, I found 33 pieces of iron, meaning that we already had a full set of iron armor, some iron tools, and a shield just a few minutes in. With this quick progress already made, my focus was now to get diamonds for a diamond pickaxe, and while I was searching for them, I came across this shipwreck. I took the buried treasure map and found the buried treasure, only to see that I had fucking nothing inside of it. I then came across another shipwreck, so I took the buried treasure map, found the treasure, only to find that it had taken me to the exact same one as before. Good job on wasting a bunch of time. A few minutes of traveling later, I came across this ruined portal. Inside its chest was some flint and steel, but that was, that was it. The portal itself didn't have any crying obsidian, so it could come in handy once we're ready to travel to the nether. I kept searching for any caves to find some diamonds in, but to no avail. Eventually, growing tired of this, I just said fuck it and decided to jump into the water, choose a random location underwater, and dug straight down into nothing. It doesn't seem like it, but this actually turned out to be the best thing I could have done in this situation. I dug straight into a cave, and after digging around a little bit, I started looking around for the holy diamonds. Eventually, I came across these two diamonds on the floor. Wait, there's more. Holy shit, we had just found a fucking 8 vein of diamonds. Greedy as I was, I kept searching for even more, and eventually I came out of the cave with a whopping 12 diamonds in total. Who knew that digging into nothing would be such a good decision? With the diamonds, I crafted a diamond chest weight and a diamond pickaxe, meaning we were now prepared to get some obsidian and go to the nether. Like the nomadic person that I am, I kept traveling and traveling and traveling, and eventually I came across another ruined portal. The good thing about this one was that it contained some lava and some obsidian inside of a chest. After pouring some water down and mining up some obsidian, I reconstructed the portal and was ready to head into the nether. <laughs> no way, no shot. That's right. Completely opposite to my previous nether spawn, I had spawned directly inside of a nether fortress. This meant that we wouldn't need to waste hours searching for one instead. Our luck this run was incredible. From finding an 8 vein of diamonds to spawning inside of a nether fortress, I knew I couldn't fuck this up now. I had to seize the opportunity. Looking around for a blaze spawner, I killed a wither skeleton, carefully this time, 
and eventually I came across one. I constructed a little hideout spot if we ever find ourselves in a little bit of trouble, and took on some blazes. To be honest, they were actually pretty easy to kill for the most part, but my goal was to leave the nether with a nice and safe 20 blaze rods, which is where the actual problem comes in. How actually fucking long it takes to kill these things. I had found that I spent 20 minutes killing, retreating, killing, retreating, until I had finally successfully gotten 20 blaze rods and got the hell out of there. At this point, the adrenaline was rushing. I was actually getting scared to find the stronghold and fight the dragon. All we needed to do now was find some ender pearls to craft into eyes of ender, and then we were going into the big fight. Just like that. Nearby to the fortress was a blue fucking forest thing, I don't know what the fuck they're called. Inside the forest, I made myself a little safe area and killed my first enderman. It actually worked pretty well, and I went to go find some more endermen to kill, when I accidentally looked at one without being prepared, resulting in this happening. I fucking give up. So to answer the question, can you beat Minecraft Hardcore in one night? No. I mean, somebody probably can, but I'm too fucking stupid. 